Hello beautiful people, welcome to today's video. If you're new here, I'm Kayla and welcome to my channel. Today I've had a really chill, peaceful morning as you just saw. That was my first time doing fasted cardio in a very long time, I think since I've started my gut and it just felt good to like immediately wake up and just get moving. I do honestly prefer like waking up and then journaling and then doing my fasted cardio, but I decided that I was just gonna do it at the pool and it was really lovely. I had the entire pool to myself for like an hour. Now I'm back at home, I just showered and I did some of my skincare, I washed my face. Morning skincare is super important, just like night skincare. Um, to be honest, I love my face, like right when I wake up, like with nothing on it. And I know some other girlies feel that way. Like, right when you wake up, your face is like the clearest it's ever been. But I just wash my face with the Anua Heartleaf Pore Deep Cleansing Foam. Really great. And then I'm going to tone with my... Good Molecules Brightening Toner. I use a compact, but I don't have any, so I'm just gonna go into a paper towel. This is supposed to help with dark spots and just brighten dull skin. I've been struggling with my skin lately. Um, after I came back from vacation, maybe it was like all the sugar and processed food that I was eating because normally, as you see from my what I eat in days, I eat the same thing every single day, pretty much. And my skin was like kind of bad already, but after vacation, it's just been worse. Like the camera is doing its job of blurring, but I'm really struggling, but it's okay, you know, like some days are better than others. We'll figure out how to get my skin clear. Um, you're not you're more than your acne, you're more than your pimples. But it's a new day and it can always be worse, you know. So it's just gonna get better from here. I'm gonna start back on my routine. I'm not back in Virginia just yet, but I am gonna get back on my routine soon. Get back to the clean eating, maybe cut out a little bit of sugar and we'll see, we'll go from there. Next I'm going in with the La Roche Poche Double Repair Face Moisturizer. This is not mine, but I heard it's very good. And I have used it before and I like the way it feels. I had a pretty good tan, to be honest. I mean, I already had a tan from vacation. I just got back. I love being tan. Tan me is a better me. When I was working out yesterday, I did a quad, quad and glute day the other day. I'm just going in with some aquaphor. My muscles felt like they were 10 times bigger because of the tan. I'm gonna do a little bit of light makeup just so I get ready for the day. I'm going out later. I'm going in with the IT Cosmetics CC Nude Glow. I really like this, but with my skin the way it is, I'm starting to like look at my products and see maybe if these are breaking me out or what. I don't know. I love like tinted moisturizer and I don't see why it would be breaking me out necessarily. But we may have to do some research. But I'm just gonna rub it in. But this is nice. It has um, SPF in it. And it does a good job of reducing the redness of my breakouts that I'm having. And somewhat diminishing my dark spots. My dark spots are like black at this point. So <sighs> it's kind of hard. I'm, I'm gonna do like minimal makeup today. So I don't think I'm even gonna... Put on concealer, just a little bit of blush. Normally I would do my eyebrows, but I'll probably just do that later before I leave, to be honest. I just feel like I'm going in with the Milk Blush. She is like my go-to. I tried the Rare Beauty Blush. This is in Believe. I've also tried another one that's more of a red orangey color and they're good, but I feel like, I don't know, they're so pigmented, but then they don't last as long as this one, in my professional opinion. And they don't blend as easily, but they are pretty good. And you get a lot of product. Like it will last you till the end of your life, most likely. Like, that's how much product is in there. These ones, obviously it's very small, the milk blush, but it's okay. I'm putting it a little here. I've recently discovered putting it like here on the bridge of my nose instead of down here. I don't know. I'm just playing around with blush, to be honest. I might as well just go 
and I'm pushing it more on my cheeks. Normally, I would just leave it like right here and stop it there. But today we are coming on. I'm just gonna set that with the NARS blush. This is in Dolce Vita. I'm just saying, I don't know if I like this. I don't know how well it really sets my blush. Because I've been pairing it with the Rare Beauty blush just to like set the cream, the powder. We're figuring things out as we go. So that's the skin for right now. Honestly, that was like a really great way to start my morning. I feel very calm, very chill. I needed some time to myself. I haven't been alone in quite some time. And I need time to like be by myself and reset and recharge. And obviously like when you're working out, you're alone, but I just need some time. And then being in the sun, being in nature, even though I was like at the pool, it was always nice. I feel refreshed, recharged, and I'm ready to eat, so. Let's go. So I've got three eggs that we're gonna scramble. I also have some ground turkey. breakfast so much it's very protein heavy this is 93 seven turkey two pasture three pastured eggs and then put cheese in just had and then four pieces of pepper jack cheese i love pepper jack cheese oh my gosh and then i'm also gonna have chobani non-fat greek yogurt with some honey because this is very tart very much not very sweet ever since i stopped getting like the zero sugar like flavored ones, also have them every now and again, but I normally get the non-fat plain, not that plain or the low fat plain, and then I'll add some honey or, and I might put a little bit of granola in it, I don't know, and then I also have a mandarin. I've been trying to eat more citrus and drink more citrus juice to get rid of the dark spots and also just for vitamin C. Lovely, protein packed, very filling breakfast that lasts me a very long time, so. Okay, so I just finished one of my clients' plans. They're all squared away, good to go. It took me a little minute. I am an online personal trainer. I am taking clients. I'm always taking clients, uh, women clients. And if you're interested, I'll leave the link down below to my application, or you can also DM me on Instagram, which I'll also leave down below. But yeah, I just finished up with that, and now I'm going to go get a wax. I have a wax pass from European Wax Center, and it was kind of a very great investment because low-key, every time I would get waxed, it's free. Not really, but that's just like girl math. But I always leave a tip, so it's not really free, but I do enjoy it. I have been using it. So we're going to go get a nice little wax. I am going to do just 
See, like, my blush is still on with this. If I was using the Rare Beauty blush, oh, well, on this side, it's gone. That's interesting. This side of my face does not seem to hold pigment very well. I even noticed that with the Rare Beauty. Like, this side, super blushy. This side, it's, like, not there. So I'm just going to touch up my makeup just a little bit. I really enjoy being a coach. I love helping my clients um, feel good about themselves, helping them stay accountable. And that's really what it's all about, just having someone there to support you and then obviously guide you with the proper exercises and movements and items like that. As you can see, it's been a very like productive morning. I enjoy doing work in the morning, but sometimes it just doesn't happen. Like last night, it was 1 a.m. and I was editing six short form videos. And it's weird because I do enjoy editing at night, but I also like waking up early in the morning. So it's like, ugh. But I still woke up at 8 a.m. today, so it's not too bad. I still got seven hours of sleep. Going in with some mascara. When I do do like OC minimal makeup, so like no concealer, I do put on mascara. I actually love mascara. I am a mascara girly. I haven't worn lashes in super long, but these are your problem. I was wearing like, and I didn't even have lash bottoms because they were super cute and they fit my face shape. But I just haven't been wearing that. And then I don't wear mascara because I'm Asian. And so I have my lashes go straight down. And when I curl them, you obviously need to have a waterproof mascara for the curl to hold, right? If you didn't know, now you know. And if you wear waterproof mascara, it is a to take off. So the re I don't wear mascara because I just don't like taking it off. But today, I'm going to take it off. Honestly, I should just start wearing mascara again because I do feel like a baddie princess when I'm wearing it. I'm gonna put on some more off before, but I also have like lip gloss over there. So yeah, that is the look. Let's put on an outfit. We're gonna do a very summery based outfit. Yeah, this is the fit. It makes me look super tan. I'm looking at getting addicted to tanning. Oh my goodness. But I haven't tanned without sunscreen on, so. Ooh, should I wear kitten heels? I wear these. So yeah, that's the outfit of the day. TBD on the heels or not. I am gonna go get a wax. And then I think I'm gonna go to Ulta, maybe Barnes and Nobles. I just realized that I had a book here, which I could have been reading at the pool. I forgot I left it here. I read two books on vacation and they were pretty good. But I, I just went right through them because I wasn't trying to be on my phone that much. Let's go though. The appointment is soon. my wax and I just found out that there's a difference between bikini full and Brazilian and I've been getting wax for like a long time so just found out something new every day but feeling good feeling cute honestly I recommend waxing waxing it's just much more low maintenance the hair feels better doesn't grow in as weird less bumps all that stuff so I recommend waxing. I love European Wax Center. I have, a, as I said before, I got like nine waxes in my wax pass and I've only used, I think I've used five now, but I got it like two years ago because my maintenance doesn't, I don't need to get it like every four weeks because that's just the way my hair is. But yeah, just found out I could have been paying when I, before I got my wax pass, I could have been paying less for just bikini full. So tip, know the difference between the two. to Ulta I got some really quick groceries and then I just got some Dutch Bros this is my second time ever having this I got a cold brew with cream and then their um, soft top or something top it's like 
like cold foam kind of i got it because it's only supposed to be like 80 cows but so let's try it together the last time i was here i got their protein coffee and that was good but yeah let's try this and then we'll do a little ulta haul it doesn't even taste like there's any cream in there besides the soft top or whatever yeah it tastes like every other generic cold brew. At this point, is good, and they have a drive through which is what I need because in case you're ever wondering about Huntsville, Alabama, it always freaking rains here, and I just did not want to be out in the humidity, and it'll, like, rain for, like, 15 minutes, stop, rain for 30 minutes, stop, rain for another 50 hours, stop. But let's do the Ulta haul. I was this close to getting the Billy perfume, but I just stuck with skincare, so we got three items. One I've already tried before, so I was just re-upping it. So the one that I've tried before is the Mad Hippie Cleansing Oil. I truly really enjoyed this. Right now I'm using the Good Molecules Cleansing Balm and like makeup wipes. But I kind of want to go back to this and see what it's like, especially if I'm going to start wearing mascara again. With the waterproof mascara thing, I need to have like a good cleansing balm. But you can also just use this as like a double cleanser apparently but i know for some people that really breaks them out like the cleansing oil so at the oh i've tried two of these things before i got the double repair double repair face moisturizer i was just using my mom's and honestly it was almost out so i needed to just get my own and then start of the show i got the effaclar effaclar adopaline gel 0.1 percent acne treatment it's a topical retinoid and apparently it was once only available by prescription so this is like my last thing before i go to a dermatologist i don't want to rely on prescriptions to have clear skin so maybe my actual last last stop will be beef liver Apparently that's a freaking thing now, but this is like my second to last stop. So we're going to try this. I have used a, I've used Tretinoin before and I can't remember why I stopped using it. That is the end of the vlog. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this cutesy little summer day in my life. And then I'm definitely going to have some lunch in case you're wondering. I'm going to have the exact same thing that I had for breakfast, which is why I got the groceries. This vlog gave you some motivation to just have like a really chill morning because it really sets you up for the day. And I woke up earlier a little bit earlier than I normally do it feels so good to like wake up start your day off right because it just sets the tone for the rest of the day and you know if any of the things that I said in this vlog resonate with you comment down below let me know thank you so much for being here and I will see you on the next video Bye.